girls, on behalf of the studio, I welcome you winners of the Search for Beauty contest to Hollywood. Thank you. Thank you. Hold it for a still, Buster. Look this way, Mr. Kraft. Don't move, girl. Well, we got it that time. Thanks. Thank you. I have cars to take you girls to the hotel. Oh, but we don't want to go to the hotel. We want to see some of Hollywood night stars we've read about. Why, right, don't make me laugh, girls. Hollywood's a nine o'clock town. You can't fool a Scots lassie. Eh? I've read all about Hollywood. Sure, and I've lost many a night sleeping her and reading about Hollywood. Oh, come on and say you'll show us the sights. I, I'm sorry to disappoint you, girls, but uh, I have a previous engagement. Oh, too bad. Oh, now, girl, just a minute now. Wait a minute. Hold it, hold it for the little camera. Smile pretty. That's it. Why, now, Lloyd Hamilton, how are you? Why, hello, Buster. Why, what brings you here, Lloyd? Well, I'm a little bit modest, but uh, I want to tell you, uh, one of my fans, Mr. James Montgomery Ward, uh, sent me this little camera, mm. and he wanted me to shoot some shots. Uh, the nightlife of Hollywood. From here, I'm going to May West premiere at the uh, Chinese Theater. Mm -hmm. And uh, from there, I'm going to uh, Mrs. DeMille's uh, anniversary at the studio. Mm -hmm. And then, I'm going to uh, a Hollywood party. You <laughs> get <laughs> Real still. This is Bill Henry, folks, broadcasting the May West premiere from the Chinese Theater in Hollywood, California. It's a great sight. The crowd is tremendous. The clicking you hear, folks, is from the telegraph keys in the press box, where the newspaper correspondents are describing to the world the brilliant spectacle presented here before us. And now listen to Harold Grayson and his band playing the song hit from Mae West's latest picture. The stars are arriving so rapidly we can scarcely keep track of them. Over there, I see Mr. and Mrs. Richard Barthelmus obliging the photographers. Ah, here comes that sterling screen actress, Alison Skipworth. And here's something that'll hit you right between the eyes. Jack Dempsey, Walter Houston, and Max Baer. Now some more celebrities are arriving in one of those big foreign cars. Just a minute, folks. I uh, don't seem to recognize them. You know who they are? Why, it's the Search for Beauty contest winner. Escorting Floyd Hamilton. Jack Oakey. <laughs> Come on out of breath. So you know, I was over there in May West dressing room just a minute ago, and I was kidding around with Mayor Benton. She stops him with this. She says, Oakey, just because a man says he wants to retire, it doesn't mean he owes all the money he wants. So you know what I did? I just tiptoed out of the dressing room and I ran all the way over here. Keep in touch with me. Oh, there is Bruce Cabot with Adrian Ames. Gee, I wish we had a picture of him. And now we see that scintillating personality, Loretta Young, escorted by Russ Colombo. George Rapp. <laughs> Hello, everybody. When I was a young fella, Horace Greeley said, go west, young man, go west. So I came west. But Miss West hasn't said to me, come up and see me sometime as yet. Charlie Chaplin has just arrived with Paulette Goddard, chaperoned by Jackie Cooper. And now the huge crowd is awed as the star of stars makes her appearance. Every feminine eye follows her dazzling gown. Every masculine eye, oh, well, must we go into that? May West has come to town.
Oh, Miss West. Look at the little bird, please. So that's where Cecil DeMille made his first picture 20 years ago. Tis true. Here's Mr. DeMille. Congratulations. Jack Holmes. Richard Cromwell. Stell Taylor. <laughs> Raymond Hatton. <laughs> and little Benny Alexander. Uh, your contract with me in the shed and you too, Ray. Yeah. And I have my dressing room right over there in that liver stand. <laughs> you thought I could act if I left my horse over at Universal? <laughs> well, you left your horse, Danny, put Ray in the store. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> Will you hold that pose, folks? Please. Pardon me, I smell a rat. Tonight, Hollywood is staging a unique costume party. The stars attending are impersonating various other screen personalities. Here is Lois Wilson as Jackie Cooper in Skippy. And Gloria Swanson as Helen Hayes in The White Sister. What a night for the photographers. Gloria looks glorious. And her husband, Michael Farmer, looks very chinky as Warner Oland in Fu Manchu. What a picture. The White Sister in the clutches of Fu Manchu. But don't worry, folks. Here comes someone to the rescue. It's Polly Moran as Anna Mae Wong in a Chinese version of Ha Cha Cha Cha. Fay Ray appears as she did in King Kong, and her husband, John Monk Saunders, as Lionel Barrymore in Svengali. Lillian Tashman and her husband, Edmund Lowe, in a clever impersonation of Lionel Barrymore's Kringleine. Zeppo Marx, wearing the toupees of ten other male stars from that great Hollywood mystery, To Pay or Not to Pay. Groucho Marx as Rex the Wonder Horse, and Gary Cooper as, well, your guess is as good as mine. Chico Marx as one of the witches of Endor, but we don't know which end. Mary Pickford as Gilda Gray, with Cary Grant as Jack Oakey. Frederick March doing a sprightly impersonation of Bobby Clark of Clark and McCullough. He dances, prances, and enhances many a picture. Jetta Goodall as the beautiful Countess in, uh, well, Countess Out. Set your traps for this one, folks. They're loose again. Lloyd Pantages as Minnie Mouse and Buster Collier as Mickey Mouse in Two Blind Mice. And if we're not mistaken, here comes the specialist in Sitting Pretty. As Mae West would say, you must come in sometime. Folks, it looks like the main event of the evening. A flock of nursemaids and Lloyd Hamilton as Baby Leroy. Hold it for a still, folks. <laughs> 